What's up, family? I'm Robert. <laughs> she is Robert. She's Mrs. Robert. I'm the softer Robert. Yeah, okay. I am softer. Uh, well, that you are. I was about to say. That, that you are. What She's you soft as hell. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my golly. Will occur. What's going on, family? I'm Robert. And I'm Jamila. Welcome to Morning Coffee with the Ballad. <laughs> What are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to be, today is our woman empowerment episode. And all I got to say is having your nipples out on social media is not women's empowerment. So go grab your coffee and your tea, maybe get a glass of wine or some Hennessy and Coke and get ready for this morning coffee. We'll be right back. Lord have mercy. Everybody always talking. I got something to say. Hey. You got something to say. Hey. We all got something to say. Hey. So have your morning coffee with the ballads uh -huh. today. I got something to say. Hey. You got something to say. Hey. We all got something to say. Hey. So have your morning coffee with the ballads today. Morning coffee. Hey. I got hey. something to say. You got hey. something to say. Yeah, I forgot to hold it. All right, so so listen, we're gonna jump right into this. This this is gonna be a hot topic. I'm sure my wife is gonna just this gonna this is gonna be her episode. So a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago, I saw some type of post or a blog um, that was referring to this new craze on social media where women are exposing their breasts and their nipples. And the, one of the quotes said that um, one of the quotes was like. Um, it's women's empowerment. It's freeing. I'm sorry, but that's some bullshit. That's bull. In my opinion, that's not women's empowerment. Having your breasts exposed on social media and your business hanging out, that's not women's empowerment. I think it's actually degrading. Of course it is degrading. Unfortunately, it is, uh, degrading women is our culture. That's degrading women, yeah. That is the culture in America. That is our tradition. That's what we do. We so, degrade women. Exactly. And we become desensitized to it. So, that's what happens. I, okay, Nobody so, thinks anything's wrong with it anymore. Yeah, because, listen. It's, it's not empowering, without question. It's, it's not, not empowering. Oh, no, no. Hell no, it's not empowering. It's not. As a matter of fact. If you think it's empowering, it's because you don't know what empowering, empowerment is. You don't know what it is to be empowered. Right. So, you know, so that's one, what happens when ignorant people speak. So one, of my, so, one of my issues with this whole thing is, I mean, there's a bunch of issues, but one of my major issues is that when we start talking about women's empowerment, I'm automatically going to go back to um, our teenage daughters. And so in the culture and the society that we live in today, these young girls are looking up to some of these women who are doing these, and they think that that's their claim to fame. They think that that's the way that I'm going to get popular. I'm going to become rich. And unfortunately, you and I... We, you and, and you I, know, it's understandable because we're talking about a teenage mind. We're talking about young girls. Absolutely. And their mind is still developing. And, um, you know, they, they are usually confused and they're immature. They're kids. Right, right. The problem is we have grown women whose minds are supposed to be more Mature. developed and exactly. they're supposed to be mature. Exactly. exactly. And yet this is the example exactly. that they're setting. Exactly. And I think it's sad. I, th I, do I think, think it's, it's sad. very sad. I do think it's sad. I don't give a damn about a recording artist. I don't care. I don't care about all them things. At the end of the day, everything we do, okay, so maybe not you and I in some way, shape, or form, but some of these people who claim to be um, celebrities and so forth and so on, unfortunately, they may not want to be role models, but they are. And the young girl in Tupelo, Mississippi somewhere who, who you know, her ambition is to get out of her little small town thinks that this is the claim to fame. And you and I have heard some tragic stories because these girls, these young girls think that if they go out, they're very naive. They're and very naive. They don't know what's really out there. They have no clue what's in the out world. There. They have no clue what's out there. They don't know about they the don't dangers really, of it. The dangers, the dangers of it. Right. being right. and that, and that sex trafficking Thank is you. on the rise. Thank you. Kids are being abducted. Girls, especially every single day, and um, they're being. You know, they're becoming prostitutes because these young, naive girls just think, 
when a guy shows them attention mm -hmm. that he just he really likes me because right. I'm so fine and they have no clue the evil that is out there in this world. Right. They have no clue. And it's sad. So they're I, being so the, you know they get they get preyed on a lot because they're so naive. I, I I'm all for Babe, I think you're beautiful. I think you're sexy. I think you're classy. I love the way you carry yourself. So I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I understand. There's one, a time and a place. A place for, for everything. Right. right. And so for everything. If you want to entice strange men, because first of all, let's be honest, okay? This is my main issue with just human beings. Period. Is that when we discuss things. Mm -hmm. We're still not being totally honest a Correct. lot of times. Correct. Correct. Okay. No, absolutely. So yes, you're gonna call it if if you if someone's calling that empowerment, that's just the lie that she wants other women to buy. Correct. That's really Correct. it. Correct. Like she's lying to herself. Correct. Correct. There's nothing empowering about that. Correct. Um, so you know, it's go ahead. What was your point? <laughs> I lost track. No, no, it's alright. No, thoughts. because. I f okay, so there's a bunch of different issues in my mind that's going on. You have the young girls. Oh, this is what I was going to say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just remembered. Okay, so what women really want to do and what women like to do, a lot of women and sadly even older, supposedly, quote unquote, more mature women, it is the attention. They're seeking attention. But they know it sounds pathetic, even in their subconscious. They know right. it sounds pathetic to just say, I'm looking for attention. I want right. more attention. I want right. to get more attention than the next woman. I want men to look at me more right. when I walk into a room as opposed to the other women in the room. So they just lie and, you know, make right. up all sorts of ridiculous things. But let's be honest. When your nipples are out, you're looking for a certain type of attention. You are looking to entice people. Yeah. And listen, Be and I can listen. respect a woman more if she just came out and was honest and said it. And even if you're not looking for it, you're gonna get it. Now you're gonna get it. When you know, when when you let me just speak for the respectful women out there, because there right. are respectful women out there. Right. You know, a lot of times we get overlooked by all the little. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the word. What assholes? We we get overlooked a lot of times by. This, the new, you know, slut revolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The slut brigade brigade now, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a slut yeah. movement now. Mm -hmm. So we get overlooked. Like, like, and like let me just like say, like for respectful women, right. you will always, as a woman, you're always going to get attention because women are pretty, nice to look at, Absolutely. they're appealing, attractive, and all those things to men. Right, right. That's just the reality right. of life. Right. But... At some point, when you start to value who you are, who you are in totality as a woman, that means not just my outsides, not just my outer appearance, then you don't really, you're not looking for attention mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. I get all the attention that I want, male attention that I want from you. That is enough for me because there's no void, be there's be. no void that needs to be right. filled right. inside of me. Right. Right. You know, I'm not looking for. I'm just not looking for anything right. when I when I leave the house other than to live a fulfilling, purposeful life. And right. that's it. So at some point, the unnecessary attention gets to be too much and it really gets to be annoying. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're walking out the door, no, door knowing that you're going to get a whole lot of attention for having your nipples out, it's because you want it. Absolutely. It's because you are lacking something. Because mature, respectful women who, who are more focused on growing, mm -hmm. making progress in life, and living productive lives, and having healthy marriages and, and great careers, are not, don't want somebody looking at them, looking at their nipples all day long. Right, right, right. But forget all day long, listen, even for an hour. And listen, this real talk, and so, you know. It's insulting. And so, okay, so, and then the other side of the coin, because my whole thing is um, our young people. The other side of the coin is now we're raising a generation of young men who potentially will have no self-control or respect for women. Because, and they already have very little respect for women. Correct. But, at, okay, but at least in my day and age, when I was growing up, we had to hide and we had to sneak to look at stuff. 
Now they just open their phone and it's like, boom. So it, it's, they're growing up with this as a part of their culture. Their culture is sexual. Their culture is sex. Their culture. And so, and so now, you know. We and you got young girls, you know, who refer to, and older women, Sam. Of course. Who of refer course. to their friends as hoes and sluts and, and bitches. You know, I'm 40, 40 my 45, babe. There's no way in heck I'm going to refer to a friend of mine or any woman that I'm fond of as a hoe, right. as a bitch, as a slut. Like, it's not, it's not cute. Right, 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 right. It's ridiculous. We, it, you know, this, uh, again, this is one of them topics that is very large. And so, in, in terms of us speaking to parents, you got to monitor what your kids are doing. You, can't, you cannot have a hands-off approach. But the problem is you can't monitor You can't monitor everything. I get everything that. I get now that. Because I get that. stuff is coming from I get every everywhere. I totally direction. get that. You know, it, it, you you have to do your you best. Get, you, exactly. you have to do you, you, do you your have best. you have to do your best. That's it. You know, it this whole quote unquote it's not women's empowerment, but what they're considering women's empowerment, I'm being free, I'm expressing myself. I get that. If that's what you want to do, I understand it. But we still have a social me, we still have a social responsibility to our kids and to their kids. And so we have to pass down traditions and values. And speaking as as a man, teaching my sons to have respect for women when the entire world is telling them no, a woman is just an object and a body. That's crazy as hell. That's crazy as hell. And, and you know, that's true, obviously. That, that's crazy as hell. Because then we, and, and then sort of in the scenario, there are no good men out there. Or they, okay. But at the same time, we have to now begin to instill this in our young, in our young men and our young women and, and present a different avenue that everybody's not going to be a reality show star because that's some bullshit also. But that's what these young girls claim the fame is. Their likes on social media. What did we hear recently? Um, um, young girls are doing so. Oh, it was on YouTube. YouTube changed their monetization status because so many young people were killing themselves and hurting themselves to get likes and views. So what you're saying is basically because if you get a certain number of views. If you were getting a lot of views, then you you can make money. Pays you. Correct. So they had to change their um, their guidelines. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. kids were willing to do anything. Anything. Up to ki including yeah. killing themselves. Yeah. This th th this one young guy and, and recording it just for views. Recorded himself with a bunch of books and said that um the books would stop the bullet of a of of of, a, of the gun a dead um. A Desert Eagle gun, which is a very, very big gun. And he killed himself for a view and a like. Like, that's the society our kids are growing up in. And so the young girls are doing the same thing. But this is honest. Like, here's, here's the problem. This is a lot. I got a lot of good yeah, points. I got a lot of good I'm points. Sure. Here's, here's one. Um, children, young people, whatever you would like to call them, adolescents, teens, youth, um, are going to seek, have always seeked attention, mm -hmm. attention sought yep. Yep. attention and praise. That is normal. But it has always caused us problems. Problem. Absolutely. The difference is, back in our day, you know, you had to, um, it always caused young girls to be promiscuous and young boys to oh, be yeah, promiscuous. And um, at some point, Hell, you, at, when you get older, you learn that those behaviors were damaging, were damaging to absolutely. you as a person. So it was bad enough when we were young, but now they have, they have more avenues to seek praise. And so it's just, the praise that they're getting is just multiplied. Yeah, um, yeah. And, it, you know, a, and a young person can't handle that. A young person's mind is not equipped to handle praise, 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 attention, compliments, mm -hmm. compliments. You know, you so sexy. Oh, my God, you look good. What happens is it shapes the way they live their lives. Their lives. Oh, absolutely. And they're, absolutely. Not they're not equipped emotionally to handle all that attention, to handle, all yep. that attention, yep. to handle the sexual attention mm -hmm. that comes their way. Yep, yep. Anyway, we, we created 
a heck of a beast a, a, with, a with social media. Um, I wanted to say real quick too, mm -hmm. like when we talk about empowerment, you know, mm -hmm. it is. I can't even say how much I hate the fact that somebody said that having your nipples out is empower somehow empowering to women yeah, yeah, yeah. because women really, really suffer, really, really suffer because of this, because we've been exploited. Yeah. We have been yeah. exploited mm -hmm. so bad mm -hmm. for so long mm -hmm. that now we do it to ourselves mm -hmm. like idiots as if we don't have any brains and exactly. control over how we present ourselves exactly. to the world. So we've got, when we talk about suffering, again, we talked about the prostitution, uh, even these young girls, <laughs> a lot of times who just think this is my boyfriend. Next thing you know, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. getting pimped, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it's a pimp mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they're From being abused yes. and yes. used and abused and used yes. every single day. Women that get into um, domestic, you know, they get into violent relationships and they're victims of domestic violence, although I don't like to use the word victims. But um, these are serious, serious issues. There are women oh, dying, absolutely. dying every, every single, single day, day because our society has sex just over sexualized and Everything. objectified and exploited women. Mm -hmm. We are suffering severely for it. Mm -hmm. Severely. Mm -hmm. The number of deaths, mm -hmm. I've spoken on domestic violence and the number of deaths that occur daily has gotten to the point where we're doing very, very little about it because it is out, it's, it's just out of completely it's out, out of, control. of control. It is completely out of control. So, when this is the reality of our world, please tell me how showing your nipples changes that. Exactly. If you think it changes that, you are an idiot. And exactly. I will tell you to your face, you're an idiot. Right. What changes women's lives is when you start to really discover what your worth is. Exactly. And that means you have to start. For me, it was just my personal prayer life with God, accepting Jesus. And I heard that so much as a kid, and I didn't really, it didn't connect for me. Right. What are they talking about? Right. Right. It's the type of thing that if, until you start doing it, you're not going to understand, understand it. it. Right. You're right. not going to understand right. it. Right. Right. But it just meant I talked to him a lot. He was my best friend. He became my priority. He became the person I talked to all throughout the day, the beginning of the day, the end of the day, when I was confused, when I was hurt, when I was happy, when I wanted to do something, wasn't, when I wasn't sure if I wanted to do something. And what happened in that process was he started to teach me about my value who I am, right. what my purpose is, right. why am I here, what do I have to give to the world, what he's put inside of me, what my gifts are, how, how my gifts can be a blessing to other people, mm -hmm. what I can do with everything that he put inside of me and how valuable that makes me, right. Right. how important right. and powerful that makes me. Right. That is what makes me powerful. Right. The, nothing else. Right. Absolutely. Nothing Absolutely. else. Absolutely. You have to learn. You, you'll never be satisfied with the attention. I, we we, talk, we talked about. You thank more. you. you we talked more. about this before. And this is just one example, but there have been so many women. Marilyn Monroe, Whitney Houston, so many famous women, um, countless, who were quote unquote beautiful. They were considered the most beautiful women in the world. Mm -hmm. They constantly got attention. Mm -hmm. Men were chasing them all the time. Men were pushing other women out the way because they were just, you know, they were put on pedestals. And yet these women were drug addicts. Mm -hmm. They committed suicide mm -hmm. yep. or they yep. died tragic deaths yep. because even Whitney said it, it's like she just didn't get to be herself. herself. Yeah. So what attention. happens is it's a trap, the attention. You become a slave mm -hmm. to the attention mm -hmm. and you get further and, and further away from who you the are. fulfillment yeah. of knowing yeah. who you are yeah. and what your worth mm -hmm. is. It's just a trap. And and those and those are adult women. Mm -hmm. Those are adult women with careers mm -hmm. and people are these, And they can't handle it. So how can a kid he, handle yeah, it? Exactly. You you know what's funny um in this video, I'm going to put some links um, 
below in the comments section so you guys can see some of this stuff. But um, my wife and I, were, we were watching something a couple of weeks ago on, on human trafficking and so forth and so on. And one of the things that the police officer said that was really interesting, he said, you know, what's scary is that back in the day, these men targeted um, loners, girls who were loners and runaways. And, and he said, now the scary thing is that all, all, everything that they used to do is off. They're literally walking down the street, seeing somebody, grabbing them, throwing them in, and just driving off. And we've heard just like many, that. many just really, just really like strange, that. odd stories of people. And it's men and just women doing it. Boldly now. grabbing yeah. women out of even public yeah. places yeah. and yeah. streets, yeah. In, in, you, off the streets in yeah. broad daylight. Yeah. You know, we have daughters, and I have one daughter who's very little. Mm. She's probably like five feet tall, mm. if she's even five feet tall. Mm. And, you know, thank God for my prayer life and my relationship with God, because that means yeah. that I have peace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if it wasn't for that, uh -huh. my first thought with her all the time is, I don't want her walking yeah. the streets yeah. ever by yeah. herself. Yeah. She's yeah. so I, little I from behind, thing. you would think she's yeah. a lot younger. I the same and thing. knowing that these maniacs yeah. are out on the street, and this is every single day. Anyway. Because, because I know we have, because we have daughters, but I also get emotional because... In this whole oversex era that we live in with all of these Hollywood celebrities and everybody falling down, you know, it's caused me to look at myself. And so I always want to be a man of integrity. I always want to be uh, um, the man to you. And even between, even between you and I, I never want to totally objectify. Although I think you're sexy as hell. That's it. That's it. That's but... I'm, but I'm mindful of these things because... And, I, and let me tell you something. Only that word coming out of your mouth can make me smile. I'm insane. highly offended if it Thank comes you. out of anybody else's mouth. It's a big topic, yo. It's, it's a big topic. And but, it's sad honey, that there's people that don't even... That would ask, well, why would you be offended if, some, if a strange man on the right. street is calling me sexy? Yes, I'm offended. Because yeah. I don't want you looking at me like that. Absolutely. Control yourself. Absolutely. Get yourself Absolutely. together. Absolutely. I'm sorry. It's too many things that we just accept. 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 I get it. And you know, I get it. you have to be the one. You set the standard. Every woman, you have the ability. You have the power to set the standard in your own in life. Your life. Yeah. I don't care and make and make, how many people... And don't, don't drop the bar so some little dude can, can, can just jump up. Raise that bar higher so that, so that you can begin to attract more and better. Sorry, I want to throw that in there. That's okay. That's okay. Like you, you, well, you mentioned how women say a lot of times there's no good men mm -hmm, out no good there. Men there. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, I would have to ask... How how are you, what about your life? What about how who you are? Yeah. Because if Can you because if you're spending some time on yourself, making sure you're a good woman, you wouldn't doubt whether or not you could attract a good man. Exactly. Exactly. I knew I would. It was just a matter of time, and I was willing to wait. Patient. See, the difference patient. is I was willing to wait. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be married so bad. This is what happened. This is interesting. As I started, you know, I mentioned that I that I began, you know, to pursue a relationship mm -hmm. with God, a mm -hmm. personal relationship where it was like, I was like a horse with blinders and all I could see was him. Okay. I wanted to say, I'm not saying, don't mistake, I'm not saying all I could see was church. Okay. But we'll get to that another time. All I could see was him. That was my best mm -hmm. friend. He became my everything. My everything. I wasn't the type of person, I'm going to pick up the phone. Oh, my God, what do I do? No, I'm going to open up my mouth. Lord, what do I do? And every single day, me and him were like this. So at some point, what started happening was, you know, there's some growth starts to take place. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, one of the most important things, and the first things that started to take place for me that I know of, that I was aware of, was my confidence, right? And so... Little by little, I was seeing how, where I lacked confidence mm -hmm. in my life, um, and it started to change. And I start, started to feel more and more like um, God loved me, mm -hmm. like God really cared about me. Mm -hmm. And I could see more and more how throughout my life, you know, he kept me safe from this. This never happened to me. I had this blessing. I had that, that blessing. There were a lot, a lot of things that I just took for granted. 
Um, but, you know, and especially after I left um, a, a bad relationship, I really could see how he was just really, he really was there for me, just opening doors and making ways. And what that did was it instilled in me this really, really uh, strong conviction that he really loves me. Like, he really loves me. And at some point, I, I really, I got it. God really loves me. Then I, I realized, okay, so if I want a husband one day, and I knew I wanted a husband, mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to get married again and get really married this time and have a real husband and a real marriage this time. What I realized was, uh-oh, like this is going to be a challenge because how is a man going to come along and come close to the love that I that I have every day mm -hmm. from my father. Mm -hmm. Like, how is he even gonna touch? Like, he's gonna have to be pretty amazing. <laughs> and um, so, and you are. Thank you, honey. You are, you have been, you have gotten extremely close. Extremely, extremely. The only God beat you. Only God got you beat, babe. I, I tell you my middle name. <laughs> only I God you name? got you beat. It's not, I, I don't think name? it's possible for a human being, for a man, flesh and blood man to give and show more than you do. Um, I forgot my original point now. But what we were talking about not settling. Not settling, yeah. You don't have to settle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah don't believe the lie. You do not. I know it can get frustrating, but I'm telling you the more that you start to, the more that you look at yourself you know what it is and you grow and you discover we, who you are, you'll start to see things differently. We, we hear a lot of times, let go and let God, and it has become, it becomes so cliche, but it's one. You don't have to settle. Yeah, but it's you one. But I mean, to. I mean, even, even for myself, I got to a place, not quite your story, but where I just let go. And I remember praying one day, like, God, I'm too dumb. I can't choose a woman for, for me. I'm choosing different qualities I think will apply to my life, but the one quality applies to my life, but then 10 other things is just off. And so I'm selling in different areas. So I remember saying, God, I'm done. I give up, you know, and a couple months later, you walk into my life. You know, it's funny, but, uh, and I, I remember but, I was just grinding. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to work. I'm going to grind. I'm going to keep going. And so, and I began to work on me. I began to like we're talking about women's empowerment. I remember looking at myself in the mirror saying to myself, this was, this was maybe like a year or so before you, you, you and I remember like, Robert, you're a dog. You know, you, you use women. Like I had that conversation with myself and I'm like, God, I don't, I don't want to go to my deathbed with my kids looking at me like that. That's not what I want. And, that, and so I had an honor. And if, you know what? It, and when I was younger... Yeah, I was guilty of the same type of things that I didn't even realize. Yeah. I didn't even realize yeah. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't, you, you just know what? keeping people around just for attention. Just for attention, Because exactly. they make you feel good. Because exactly. they were sweating you. You know they wanted you. Exactly. But all right, I'll keep you around because maybe yeah. every now and then when I need some type, when I need to feel good. Yeah. And, 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 and These things don't empower and this, women. And this may, right, and this may be way off of the topic, but. When you have somebody just hanging around who, you know, if y'all creeping, if you got, if you, if, if, if you got a girl, you can go to a house three o'clock in the morning to get some, you're going to hit it or vice versa or, 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 or whatever the situation is. When you have some, when you have that in your life, you literally are pushing the one that God wants, wants for you away from They're you in the way. because yep. you're still entangled and tied up and in bondage. And that's not empowerment. But I just wanted to say, you know, um. You know, you're right about that. You're 100% right about that. There's so many things that we do mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. do, it does not empower us right. at right. all. And right. we don't realize, we, do, we don't even realize it until, you know, hopefully you know better someday and you start doing better. But the wrong relationships, allowing somebody to use you, dis, just dysfunctional mm -hmm. relationships where you are settling, all these things. things yep. They hurt you. Yep. And, the, and, and, these, and to me, these are the conversations when we start talking about empowerment and women's empowerment, that we healing, that we have to start having like, okay, granted, nowadays with, between the fake with the hair, the weaves, the nails, the eyelashes, it, even if someone is not quote unquote as attractive 
in people's eyes. By the time all of the makeup you know, is put on, she can be gorgeous. But at the end of the day, to me, that's still not true empowerment. It has to be empowerment, a cleansing. Exactly. It has it to starts be a cleansing inside. of the soul. It starts inside. It has inside. to be your heart. So right. when we start talking about these things, right. and the reason why I went so extreme with the whole nipple out thing is because it seems to be the trending topic going on. Oh my God, that's fly. Oh, she bad. Nothing empowers anybody other than when you ch when you change, change it here. Inside. Exactly. You change your exactly. way of thinking. You change your heart. Well, you well. You deal with the hurt in your heart. You deal with any malice in your heart. You exactly. deal with jealousy exactly. in your heart. You deal exactly. with the insecurities in your heart. When you start dealing with those things, that That's will empower power. your entire yeah. life. Yeah. And you can't focus like you said. You can't. Women think too, well, you know, there's a lot of things that we've been taught empowers us. Like get get your education, get degrees. If you get a certain type of job or if Cook you have good. a certain type mm -hmm. of career, nowadays the, the plastic surgery is mm -hmm. another thing that's yeah, just gotten yeah, completely yeah, yeah, out yeah, of virtual, control. Baby, virtual, virtual. And at the end of the day, those things... If we got women addicted to shopping, that too hurts you financially, hurts your entire family, you know, and then you pass these habits on mm -hmm. down to your kids. And then Good we credit. wonder, and then Good we wonder, empowering. you know, why we suffer as a people economically. Absolutely. But all these things go back to empowerment. These things don't exactly. empower us exactly. in any way, shape, or form. Exactly. The tension is never going to be enough. You're never going to have enough clothes to feel empowered. You can nev never have enough plastic surgery to feel empowered because what you will start discovering, since you haven't changed in here, is more and more stuff that you want to fix. Right. More right. and more stuff right. that you want to buy. Right. And I just want to share one quick revelation, revelation that I got. This funny. This was like last week. Um... Here's the thing, when we talk about empowerment, I always hear women's empowerment. I always hear women's empowerment, women's, 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 women's. And here's the problem with that. We have a creator that created us with a specific will, with, with a specific purpose, okay? And he did not create us separate from men. So, a lot of, because unfortunately, um, we're very disappointed in men for the most part, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. say the least, mm -hmm. and I'm saying it nicely on right, purpose, right. We, we, don't, we don't like the idea of we need men. Mm -hmm. But again, you did not yeah. create yourself. Yeah. You have a creator. Yeah. God has a purpose for, there's a reason why he put man and woman together yeah. to iron create, to, to, to reproduce. Absolutely. So... We always, we act like that's not, like, you know, we, we just totally ignore that fact. Mm -hmm. There's no empowerment for women all over the world. And men just sit by. Separate from men. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. I the totally real agree. empowerment is in us coming together, respecting, loving, loving, honoring, and valuing each other. And, 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 and learning and learning That's the That's something that we have to get. Sometimes it's not what we what we need to do and all the things that we're talking about Correct. is what we're not talking about. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's hurting us. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the stuff that we're not talking about, which is why when I had the Women's Empowerment Conference, I remember getting some backlash from some major magazines because it was like, how can men speak to women? But at the end of the day, you want to get married, right? Your husband's going to speak to you. You go to church, right? Your pastor's speaking to you. You had a father. You, you had right? a father. Your father's speaking to you. And so to, to your point, babe. That's how he created us. We're created. supposed to need each other. Listen. We're supposed Listen. to need each other, but we're supposed to be good to each other, and that's when it works. Listen. Listen. The, uh, I'm, I'm empowered by our marriage. You better be. I hope so. <laughs> I know I'm serious. You want to give another answer, honey? No, no, no. No, no, I'm, I, I, I am. So. I, I am. So, babe. Are you? Oh, absolutely, I am. <laughs> but, no, no, no. Babe. I am empowered by our marriage. I am, honestly. Okay, so she. Okay, so you wanted me to respond differently. My thing is, the reason, I don't think a woman can just the get married why, and automatically be right, but empowered. The why, but the reason why I responded that was because that means if you're not, then I'm not doing my job. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I respond that way. I'm, so I'm like, yeah, you, you, you better be. But we should, yeah. Because if you're not growing in some way, shape, or form because of our union, if I'm not growing because we're together, then what are we doing? That's empowerment. 
Anyway. I can never give you a give me a rose. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. But people are always gonna think you get these little grandma dry kisses. No, no, honey. I want a lipstick all over like that. It's because of my uh, lipstick. Right. Like that. It doesn't. That, that's a whole different show. Hey, listen, everybody. Um, uh, we can go on and on about this, but watch your kids. Watch what they're looking to. Shout out to shout out to all of the mothers doing your best to um. Raise we your need daughters. men's help. We need men there you go. to Babe, I'm help. I'm glad you said that. To be, I'm glad you, you said know, that, babe. I'm like glad you step said up, that. St- step up. I'm glad you said that. Step hey, listen, up your game. Seriously. Babe, brothers, step up. We are handle hey, your business. Don't insult yourself, man. I'm sorry. I know. We're supposed to be done. But As don't insult always, yourself and act like you just this just every this everything controlling. What's like, that? yeah, like come on. Come on. Yeah. It's a time and a place. You're a kid, you're a kid, but you yeah. grown man. And That's your whole a, family, your family, a your culture, your community is suffering because you can't control yourself is not acceptable. Yeah, yeah and see that, and that's a whole different topic. We're not even going to go there right now. That's a whole different <laughs> it's topic. It's not a different topic, honey. Okay, you, Same true, topic. true, true. Same topic. Okay, so we'll cover that next week then. Okay, I'm ready. Next week, we'll talk about, man, keep your penis in your pants. <laughs> Listen, Ladies, keep your nipples in your shirt, and, and men, men keep, keep your, your penis, penis in, in your pants. pants. That sounds like go. a song. Listen, as all, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our morning coffee. It's a beautiful thing, as always. And your morning wine. Cause you can follow me on Instagram at I am Robert Ballot. And I'm still Jamila Ballot. Follow us on Facebook under the Power Couple Movement, YouTube, The Ballot. Make sure you subscribe to all of our channels. If you're having a relationship event, hit us up. Hit us up. But you didn't eat your Oreos. I ate some of my Oreos, babe. Oh. We're not that expensive. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we are, but I'm joking. Hit us up. We look forward to seeing you guys. Make sure you share this video. The email is right here at the bottom. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. We really do. I got something to say. Hey. You got something to say. Hey. Happy morning, What's up, Dallas, today? today? <laughs> got something to say. Hey. You got something to say. Hey. We all got something to say. Hey. So have your morning coffee with the balance today.